die. I clearly want to die. First of all, don't point out what it look like right now. I know I'm homeless. I know, like, my brows are, like, clearly, like, not the best. Oh, my God, the light hair looks so bad. This video is not about me. Obviously, you know what this video is about. You read the title. Today we're going to do a video and we are going to do a makeup collection thingy. And I'm going to probably title this makeup, makeup collection. collection. Like, 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 because that's what everyone titles their makeup collection. They like put their age on it because so like people can be like, wow, this kid has like 20 palettes. She's so rich. You know? And I'm going to join the bandwagon too. People won't have that reaction because I'm clearly broken. I have like no makeup products. You know? But I'm going to show you guys anyway because you've been asking me since I've been doing loads of makeup videos. Why am I flaying my arms around? I don't know. Hi. So this is, I don't know how I'm going to do this because it's so equity. I'm literally going to open the door to equity. Oh my god. How am I going to do this? This is so stressful. I'm just going to like show you guys what I have. This is so embarrassing. I am broke, okay? This is why it's called an unprofessional makeup collection. So don't bully me if it looks bad because that's... I have my palettes. Am I supposed to show my palettes? I don't know. I think they do. Okay. I'm gonna zoom in because I'm like a professional beauty guru. Oh yeah! This looks sexy! The Morphe 35B palette. <laughs> this is a lot because I really love the colors. Look at how good. Look, look, look at it. Oh my god. Cartier's Pro. This is like the most expensive palette I have. I bet everyone that's like rich, they're like, hey, it's like expensive. Like, how do you broke? I'm sorry, okay. You can make like loads of looks with this and it smells so nice. <laughs> I, love, I, love, I have the new beach palette which I'm too scared to open and use. I'm scared that I'll break it and then I'll waste like most of my money, but like that's fine. After this palette, I have another palette which was a buy one free one. So like I had to get the same palette. The next contour palette, I have no other because I'm broke, but that's like fine. This fake bombs eye palette, which is the same. I use the fake one. I don't know. I bought from this like shady shop and she was like, mm -hmm, this is like the original one. I'm like, oh my god, yes, queen. I bought it and then I realize I think it's fake, but like, that's fine. But like, the colors are like really pigmented. I don't know if it's fake, but the lipstick one is like kind of sketchy and I don't like it. But most of the colors, example, like this color, it's like so pigmented. <laughs> I like being many anyway. The perfect filter, which I never use, I don't know. Concealer palette that I bought, I forgot where I bought it. This is the second one. Oh my god, it's so damaging. <laughs> okay, that's all the palettes for now. Yeah. Oh my god. Right here is just a Sasa bag. I fill it with accessories, which is like nothing. It's embarrassing. Why can't you see it? There you go. This is where I put my random things in. I don't know. I have my foundations here. This is the Fit Me Matte Dewy Smooth, I mean, foundation. And I put it like here because I don't know. I don't have anywhere to put my foundation. I have this Wet n Wild foundation. <laughs> it's not my color. It's too light. But I don't know. It's really... It's coverage, but it's just kind of like yo yo. This is like the most expensive foundation I've ever bought in my life. And it's not even my shade. I don't want to throw it out because it was the first ever foundation that got me into makeup. So yeah, I'm still keeping it. This is a foundation that's really light. Liquid highlighter. It's highlighting powder from Dezo. It's cheap, but it's good. I have some of the beauty blenders, which is disgusting. This is disgusting. This is also disgusting because it's cut in half. Um. So, Lip liner sharpener, the Vaseline Rosy Lips for Pink Soft Lips, which I'm not using right now. Lash glue. These two are from Mr. DIY, and this one is Duo Glue I bought at Hong Kong. Squeezer because how am I gonna put my lashes, you know? So I think that's all for that random thing. So if you come right here, you can see the mirror here. Excuse that. Hi, you can't see me. Hello, I know everything's about you. Hi, this is my palette that I showed before. I'm gonna show this thing. These are the Silky Girl powders. This is finished, but like I'm too lazy to throw it out. But the thing is, this is kind of flashbacky, so I don't really use that much. Another powder, which is Rina's. I don't know why I have it. This is a primer. I don't know if it works. Oh my god, my camera's about to die. Baby skin. Just like two years ago, and I never use it anymore because I don't know. I don't feel like I need to like fill in my pores, although I have like big pores, but like that's fine. Oh my god. It's the stick thingy. It's like 
a stick thing. I'm going to do what beauty gurus do. A <laughs> stick thing! Ah! I hate my life. I put all my concealers. The wet one concealer, I use this a lot in shade. Shade is it? I don't know. Medium tawny. This Adriana Patrice concealer, the liquid camouflage high coverage concealer, which is like too light for me, but I only use it for like my eyes, but like that's fine. My mascaras, which I only have three. I'm sorry, I'm not a beauty guru and I have like 10,000, but like that's fine. Also these push-up drama, Maybelline, also Maybelline, and some Malaysia brand, which I don't use. And I hate it. <laughs> Honey, you've got a big storm coming. All of the lipsticks, but these are the lipsticks that like I actually use kind of on a day to day basis. This is the Essence Shine Lip Gloss, Intense Butter Gloss in the shade. Wait, what shade is this? Blueberry Tart. This is like a really pretty shade and glossy, so it's really good and it smells so nice. Nyx Lingerie, and I think it's in Teddy Bear. Ah, uh, yeah, it is in Teddy. Why did I say Teddy Bear? It's in Teddy. It's really cute and it complements my skin color very much with this color, so I really like it. But I just don't like the formula. Guess who's suicidal now because their camera died. I hate my life. So I'm forced to record with my phone because I don't want to end this. If I have to like change change the battery, I literally have to wait for three more hours and it's gonna get nighttime and there's gonna be no light and then I'll actually jump off a bridge. But like that's fine, you know? We're gonna continue because um no dead camera is gonna stop me from recording videos. So. Which is so low quality, I'm fine. As I was saying with my lipsticks, I think this is how they do it. I don't know how beauty gurus do makeup collection. A soft matte cream in the color San Paolo. Which avenue I bought this at Hong Kong, which is like this mix lipstick. I used to use it every freaking day. I've used it on right here. I dropped it. This is why I'm scared to use makeup. I used it like every video around five months ago, but I stopped using it. Lipstick application is so, so bad. Breaks really fast, and I don't know. Step out your game, please. I'm serious. Also, sponsor me. Sponsor, 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 sponsor. Cubest Long Lasting Dark Purple Lipstick Into It Lip Gloss. I love this so much, but they don't sell it anymore like drugstores. I don't know why. It's kind of too light with my lips, but it suits so well with my lip liner. Which is from Catrice, I think. Yes, it's from Catrice, this lip liner. And this is God's gift. It's in the shade 03, I think. It's like orange and pretty and like shiny. I really like it. So yeah, that's all for my lipsticks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is my egg brush thingy. I don't know why I'm showing it to you guys. Oh, this thing. Okay, let's review. When I say review, I mean let's look. This white liner from NYX. This eyeliner from Silky Girl. This liner, which I like. The Coutures Liquid Liner. I use this almost every day. In waterproof. Two pencil liners. This NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, which I literally have to sharpen, but I don't have a big sharpener, so I don't know about that. Eyebrow thingy, which I used to use for eyebrows. Guys, it is God's gift. Guess whose phone? <laughs> RAM storage. Mine. Don't know why everything's failing on me. At the same time, I took some good selfies that are like good for Instagram. So like, go check out my Instagram if you like want to check it out. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Some. What kind of brushes are Artie's brushes, which is so bad. I think because I got the big ones. I don't know what these brushes are. People are usually like, this is the Morphe M53, the Morphe M12, the Morphe 600,000. No, I don't know anything. I'm sorry. These are the brushes that I use every day, like blending brushes, eyeliner brushes. Here is where I put my eyelash curler, and I don't know why I have BB cream on this, but like, that's fine. This is literally such a mess. I'm sorry. These are like all the side palettes that I have. Small palettes that like aren't suitable for the, the big palettes. I don't know what this is. Like some random eyeshadow, some random blush, EOS. Just genuinely Normally random palettes that you don't, don't want to know. Over here, my highlighters. This sleek highlighter, which is like so good. Oh my god. I wish my camera was still alive so I can just like. <laughs> I just love that. The Wet n Wild highlighting powder, just kind of a little bit too dark for my skin tone because I, I used to be really tired, but this is like. I don't know yet. Next Dual Crumbs is really good for like intense looks that you want your like highlighter to look. Oh my god, my eyebrows are so bad. Your highlighter to look like pinkish this is really good audible highlighter is really good for to add like more intense the wet and wild cream glitter i think it's wet and wild it's good vaseline i don't know why i have it there over here i have my lip liners which is all random it's bad these are all bad this is my favorite one from katrice so far and you're probably wondering what's in this drawer i haven't opened this drawer in, like so we have oh we have brushes that like i don't necessarily use but i'm gonna keep it for like future purposes uh, I don't know some glitters which I use to like really cool looks. I haven't used glitters in a long time Oh, oh my god. god, I think that's 
all. I'm gonna try to take a photo for a thumbnail because I'm in, like a professional beauty guru and everyone does that and I never do that to my videos. I love acting rich when I'm not. So yeah, hope you like the video. If you like it, you can thumbs up. I'm sorry, this is like the ratchet most ratchet thing you've ever seen in your life. I promise it didn't mean to be like this. I was supposed to be going my freaking camera, but my camera wasn't working, so I hate my life. Um, hope you like the video. <laughs> if you like, you can thumbs up. My mouth hurts so much from talking. I've been talking so much these past days, and my mouth hurts. Hope you like the video. If you like it, you can thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys later. That was the most cringy thing I've ever done in my life. Okay, bye.